So we're gonna walk through this market. What is this place called, Fredo? No. Alright, Fredo's never been here before. He doesn't know. <laughs> he was the worst local ever, Fredo. <laughs> Cool. Which way are we going? Uh, dumpling right here. Yeah, yeah this way. They're, gonna be open. they're not going to be open. Never been around this area this early. Yeah, man. I'm afraid of one. <laughs> I'm like, I don't. Is it me or is it you? <laughs> oh, here it is. Yeah. It's definitely not open. I need my dumplings, bro. Where do you want to go? We're going to go have a siu yuk bao. No? No? No, no, I can't. I can't. Okay, all right. Sorry, I guess, I guess not. Sorry for my viewers. You can't do it. <laughs> Fredo can't do it. All right. And I doubt they're open. Yeah, probably, huh? Yeah. I just need to get some food for dinner now. Do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Later. What are you going to get her? I don't know, McDonald's. McDonald's. Pancakes. Ooh. Ooh, Alright. Alright, so Fredo and I, we're gonna get some small to eat, right? Yeah. Because it's early and, um, and Fredo's gotta get some food to Vivi and his wife later. So we're gonna walk through this market. What is this place called, Fredo? Yeah. Alright, Fredo's never been here before. He doesn't know. <laughs> he was the worst local ever, Fredo. <laughs> we're gonna walk through here and uh, see if we can get something to eat, alright? Never heard of fish balls until I moved to Macau. Really? Never heard of fish balls. The new color. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good for the record. Carnes de porco. Huh? Carnes de porco. Oh, carnes de porco. Bro, oh, you say well. Is it the same in Spanish? My man is singing. Is yeah, it the same yeah, in yeah. Very similar. Oh man, he was singing. I wanted to keep him underneath him to keep going. All right, but they don't. They don't even. Do they actually have food here? Yeah, up there. All right. You just need to find a kitchen to make them. What? No. They, they have. A, they have a, Sort of a canteen up there. So what are markets like in, in the States? Do they do, do buy fish or pork like this? No, almost you almost exclusively will go to like a uh, supermarket. Supermarket, like you'll go to a Walmart or you'll go to some market. And do people like clean the food? Like like uh, like clean the fish? No, not really. At least not that I've seen. You have to go to like a specialty store for that right, to get get something done. Now there there are a couple of like. Um, 
places that will do beef and things, but I would say that 95% of people, they uh, they all go to the market, like a parking shop where it's already wrapped and cleaned and it's not like this. Well, that's kind of cool. They got all the vegetables. Yeah, through there. I think the reason is, here's the uh, uh -huh. It's more convenient. Yeah. I think they had your ice here. So I, so. I don't know. Maybe I'm ice and broccoli. Well, I guess if you want to keep it fresh. All right. But I will tell you this. You know what's funny is I have the experience that I've lived in. I lived in Mexico. This is what it's like in Mexico. Actually. You'll, you'll you'll go to a market daily. Now, don't forget the other thing is um, in the U.S. People don't go shopping as frequently as they do oh, yeah. here in Asia. Oh yeah. We may go once a week at most, but here people will go and shop for their vegetables and their meats on a daily basis. Yeah. That's also a big difference. I have a friend. Yeah. Oh, they I have a friend. Even even if the thing is on discount, that friend wouldn't buy a bunch of them. She rather go the next day. Yeah. And not not buy it, like the same day. I'm not talking about fresh stuff. That friend, you know who it is. Don't leave it at that. <laughs> no name. No name. That's also a big difference. And I think it's a good thing. The other thing is, don't forget, in the U.S., dude, our refrigerators are massive. Massive. Yeah. Um, it was super funny. We have what's called a gallon of milk. Uh -huh. Which is like, yeah, I know, three times the biggest amount of milk you can buy here in Macau. Uh huh. I know, in a, in a plastic jar, right? Yeah. I mean, and even myself living here in Macau, I've gotten used to that. Like, just going to the market more often. But you know, the other thing is that because I can walk to the market and then walk home. Yeah, how far are the markets in, in, in like you, Mexico? Or, or you, well, Vegas. in Mexico it's close, but. Oh man, we're gonna, we're gonna walk? <laughs> um, but uh, in the um, in the U.S., you always have to drive to the market. You know what I mean? You're never going to be able to walk to the market and then walk home without that being a, like taking up a lot of time. Oh shit! We are in the wrong way. We should go back and. Oh, I see them cooking over there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see tape. That's it. We're eating. Why is it always so weird to walk down escalators? Or is it just me? Because they are higher. Are they? Yeah. Would you consider this a very traditional, like, breakfast? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Not really for me, for, for people who live here, yeah. Mm. I'm more like a guaylo. I eat McDonald's only. <laughs> you eat McDonald's only? Where am I gonna get my suyok bro? Yeah. Dude, I should open up a restaurant called the suyok bro. Suyok bro. Yeah. Only suyok. Suyok all the time. 24 hours suyok. Suyok, sis, man. suyok city. <laughs> Su city. Where are you at? Su city. It's like a casino? I don't know. I'm not in studio city. I'm in suyok city. There you go, Mike. Oh man, look at that. Oh, man. 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 <laughs> should try it. Have you had this? Yeah. You like all, it? All the time. No. Not good. Really we, we were talking about food. Yeah, I study um, tourism, so I should be the one who knows a lot about it. Alright, maybe together. Together we'll learn. We'll figure it out. <laughs> 